All right, now that you have all the uh, tool path thing, so that you have all the tool paths done and verified, so make sure that I'll do one one last check that you run through verification this way. So it basically back plots all your all your tool paths and then make sure everything looks good. So play through it, let me verify it, make sure um, everything's cut, everything's engraving correctly, and it cuts your runner and your gate and it looks like it's you know that make sure the gate's not too deep here all right when that looks good then we're ready to do what's called posting posting creates the g code that the cnc machine reads to actually cut your part on the machine so from here make sure that all your folders are checked you click the g1 button and make sure it's posting to our machine so it's creating the code specifically for the miltronics machine you accept that and then I'll go through a process and open up the code, and the code will be populated. Um, so right here is all the code that's going to cut that part. It's, you know, thousands of lines of code. But you need to do some editing first. So first thing you're going to do is bring your cursor up here. You're going to backspace, get rid of the percentage sign, and you're going to put in a four-digit number. Leave the O there. So let's say I'm going to use 555. And then I'm going to in parentheses, I'm going to put my name, and then with the part name. All right, then I'm going to insert the block numbers. That's just in case if something happens on the machine, it's easier to edit your part or edit the program. I'm going to get rid of the N5 at the beginning. All right, now the next steps are pretty important. You follow these um, exactly, otherwise the code's not going to show up where you want it. So you go File, Save As. And this file must be in the CNC folder. It must go in there. And it must, and it's got to be a text file. And this is where you name the file name exactly as the program number. So again, it'll be O5555. And then you click Save. All right, from here, you go into that CNC drive, the Y drives. So go in the CNC drive and make sure it's in there. All right, what you should notice that here's the other two files that these were yesterday. These were Sawyer's. So we need to get rid of the TXT file extension. Otherwise, the machine won't read it. So you click on this, click again. So it activates that. And then you get rid of the TXT and you hit enter. And then you say yes. All right, so this is the, the file that will be because the machine is networked. So that's why it'll show up out there. So now I'm going to right click because I'm going to verify this in the controller right on this computer. So I'm going to copy this file. And that file, you're going to make, you're going to put that file in, in this directory under Fast Sim, CNC Sim, and then Parts. And then right click and then paste it in there. So make sure that file shows up in this folder. See, so it's Computer, C, Fast Sim, CNC Sim, Parts. All right, from here, you're going to go to your desktop. Oop, that's right, I'm not. So you're going to go to this desktop, and you're going to double-click on CNC Sim. Now you're going to verify, so you go, now these are all function keys, F9, verify, F7, menu, and then you notice, I'll arrow down to mine, and then F1 verify again. So basically, it's basically all you're doing is is back plotting this program, your program in our CNC controller before you bring it out to the machine. And it's just bas it's just going to keep running through everything. Um, if there's any issues with the code, it'd show up here. So if you see anything that doesn't look correct here, that's when you would. Uh, you know, call me over and ask me what's what's going on. A couple of things you can verify, make sure the depths look correctly. You know, this is one half the mold. I was cutting a sixteenth deep. I'm running the right feeds and speeds here. So make sure you got the right tool numbers. And I went to tool six, which is the engraving tool, and that's five thousandths deeper. So it's just going to keep running through all those <clears throat> all those lines of code and that's what you want you want to see all that 
you know it's going to zoom kind of in right now, but when it's done, it's going to maximize this. So you'll be able to see everything. And this gives you the actual runtime, what it's going to take on the machine. You know, mine isn't quite as complex as some of yours. Okay, there's the two drillings, and then the counter bores, and now the sprue and the, or the runner and the gate, and then it'll open it up. Now, if you want to rotate this, you hit F1 rotate, F4 isometric. F4, F4 ISO. Now I'll just kind of back plot. Now if it seems it at the different levels, that's fine because this doesn't know the tool offsets the length of the tools, and that's all correct. All right, just one last thing to make sure again, you that that file right here's the file. <coughs> it shows up with the O, not zero O. 555 five, five. you just use different numbers that are four digits in there that you can remember when you're out at the machine so right here and then has to be in the cnc folder